These are a couple examples about the difference between statistical relationships and causal relationships. So in the first example, imagine y superscript a is the amount of rain when nobody is carrying an umbrella outside, and y superscript b is the amount of rain when everyone outside is carrying an umbrella. So if we just think about this statistically, if nobody is carrying an umbrella, it's probably either not raining at all or raining very, very little. So we would imagine our YA, we think about the mean, for example, the mean is probably close to, if not equal to, zero. In contrast, if everyone has an umbrella, that's probably because it's raining. So we'll get some value that is uh, greater than zero, certainly on average. So in other words, we'll get some positive value for the mean of yb that's bigger than the mean of ya, which was approximately zero. So this helps describe uh, the relationship between umbrellas and rainfall. Uh, it shows us, you know, when there's no umbrellas, there's almost no rainfall. When there are umbrellas, there's more rainfall. So that uh, answers a descriptive question. It can also be helpful for prediction, right? If we look out the window and for some reason we can't see if it's raining, but we see nobody is carrying an umbrella, we would predict it's probably not raining. Uh, or if we saw everyone has an umbrella, we would predict it is raining uh, some amount. And so we could use that umbrella information to get more accurate predictions about rainfall. If we think about the third type of question related to causality, uh, this does not help us in that respect, right? The fact that there's more rain when people carry umbrellas does not mean that carrying umbrellas has a causal effect on rainfall. For example, if there's a drought, uh, we can't suddenly make it rain if we just all go outside and open up umbrellas. So this is, but there's no causal effect. Umbrellas. Oh. So that's our first example. Second one is somewhat similar in that the A and B is again related to umbrellas and not, but this time a YA is somebody's commute time if there are no umbrellas being carried outside. And then YB is the commute time when everyone has an umbrella. So similar to before, if we just think about descriptively uh, what we would see in the population, in the case where there's no umbrellas, uh, in, as in the previous example, if that indicates there's no rain, whereas when everyone has an umbrella, uh, it is raining, assuming that you know, rain would slow down commute times. 
people need to drive more carefully, it's harder to see, etc. Um, <clears throat> or maybe you can't ride your bike, you need to take the bus instead. Uh, so we might imagine that the average commute time when everyone has an umbrella is longer than uh, when they don't. So that answers a descriptive question. Again, in terms of prediction, if you wake up and look out the window and everyone has an umbrella, uh, that might lead you to predict you'll have a longer commute time than if you look out the window and no one has an umbrella. Uh, but this does not mean that umbrellas have a causal effect on commute time. For example, uh, if we're talking about my commute time and I'm trying to go get to campus, if all of the uh, you know, my neighbors and everyone else suddenly runs outside and opens up an umbrella, it doesn't actually uh, make my commute time longer. I guess it might take me a few seconds to turn my head and wonder why is everyone opening an umbrella? Um, but other than that, it wouldn't slow down my commute time at all because this is not a causal relationship. Uh, what's going on more specifically, like we said, is there's this rain variable that causes the um, umbrellas, in particular, has a positive effect on umbrellas. So the more rain there is, the more umbrellas are getting carried. And then it also separately has a positive effect on commute time. So what this leads to is it leads to this statistical relationship or this correlation between umbrellas and commute time, even though there's no causal effect of umbrellas on commute time. So in this case, rain would be what's called a confounder in that um, it sort of has this causal effect on both the uh, outcome we're interested in, the y variable, as well as the other variable we're studying, in this case, umbrellas. So it can make it appear as if maybe umbrellas cause longer commute times because it induces this sort of statistical relationship, uh, even though there is no causal relationship. So that's one of the main uh, obstacles or pitfalls we will need to watch out for uh, if we do want to learn about causal effects.